that it's time for Azrael to have some camera time. <laughs> Hello, I'm Yvonne, and welcome to Having You On. It's Theme Thursday announcement time, and I'm here with Azrael. I so rarely change him on camera, so here he is to help out for this week's Theme Thursday announcement. And first, I want to apologize because I did promise you a In The Crib segment that I normally do on my channel where I take a topic, I want to talk about it, but I didn't get to it this week. I wanted to talk about some organizational things I came up with, and Sadly, some sadness came in and I had to wait a few days for it to lift and it didn't lift in time. And I hope to get to it uh, this coming week. I'm feeling much better, but I had to take a few days off completely to kind of regroup and feel a little bit better. So I just so wanted to share what this week's theme Thursday is and it is so perfect for this time especially if you're feeling a little bit down it's time to bring in some sunshine <laughs> even if you don't have sunshine you're going to make your own sunshine so it's time for some yellow yellow this may not be as yellow as it shows up on camera it is a very very pale yellow but it could be a sunshine yellow look in your dolly wardrobe see if you can find some sunshine in your own dolly wardrobe and share your reborn for this week's theme thursday i'm going to go ahead and dress little Azrael in this adorable outfit that has these pants as the print. Oh, so cute. He'll stay all snuggly and warm. And it has been so cold too. So I hope that you've been doing well and do take care of yourselves if you have sadness creep in. Uh, for me, I just kind of treat it like uh, like if it's, if it's a bad cold, you know, it's going to pass. You just have to wait for it to pass. And it does. So yeah, but I did do a good deed this week. I found a kitty. Yep, I found a kitty and it was not mine, as you know, it wasn't mine. Um, but it did not have a collar, but it seemed friendly, but I had never seen this cat before. But I looked on an app that I follow for lost animals in the area and it matched the picture. So I contacted the owner and it turned out not to be his cat. <laughs> it was a cat that looks like it, but not exactly. So I took the cat to my vet's office and they scanned it and I was able to, through a lot of work and a lot of phone calls, to return the cat to its owner. So I was very happy about that. So I did a good deed and the cat has since come back <laughs> because it says, hey, I like you. I'm going to come and visit you again. So at least I know the cat does have an owner. I don't have to worry about it so much, but I do um, enjoy the little kitty coming to visit. And I'm going to go ahead and put this top on Azrael. He's going to help out. You going to help out? Okay, come on. Come on, I get a chance to pick him up and get some cuddles in. Aww. <laughs> and I hope that you're doing well. And if you have some sadness, just take care of yourself for a few days. Extra pampering. And, you know, it will pass. Another thing I wanted to discuss a little bit is talking about, I know you're going to find it odd for me to bring this up, but talking about limitations. If someone, uh, Let's say you have a friendship with someone and the friendship turns sour and because they had done something or said something or didn't treat you right, you know, you can have limitations and say that's that's enough of that and you don't have to, you don't have to accept, I know it's going to be odd, you don't have to accept uh, being friends with them anymore. You don't have to because you really need to take care of yourself. And if you're not treated well, you don't need to be um, in that friendship with someone. Just want to tell you, you can forgive, of course, but if it's hurting you, you certainly should not continue in that friendship. And I know some people say there's two sides to every story. Well, for me, there's the truth and a, and a lie. <laughs> so um, none of this has happened to me recently. I'm just just talking that, you know, you want to take care of your mental health in that way where if somebody is bringing you down because they're being too demanding of your friendship or accusing you of things or whatever it might be. I'm just making this stuff up. Whatever the situation might be with you um, and you get yourself in that situation where 
somebody isn't treating you right. You don't have to stay in, in that friendship and you don't have to, you don't have to forgive them and you don't have to accept them back into your life. You don't have to do that. It's up to you, but you don't have to do that. There are other people in the world. There are many, many more people out there in the world that you can form friendships with that aren't harmful to you. Yeah, <laughs> I know I'm heavy topics <laughs> that I wanted to talk about, but if I don't talk about them, I, I think I should talk about them. So come along with me and I would love to share some more Reborns with you as well as some lighter stuff to talk about. I just felt like I had to say it. And I also want to share the alternative theme with you. As you know, I always have an alternative to go with the theme, but this week it's time for some sunshine. And if you don't have some sunshine, you make your own sunshine. Right, Israel? Yeah, looking so sweet. Come along with me and you could see some more Reborns and including Tess that I didn't get share last week. So come along with me. Here we go. Here is Penny and she's set for this week's theme Thursday in some yellow. I came upon this vintage dress in my dolly wardrobe and I thought I would dress Penny in it. It's ever sweet and look at the little shoes. I got these from my friend Dawn out there in the community and they look very sweet. The dress, I love the little vintage tiny little embroidery on the dress and it fits her perfectly. I was so surprised that it did and I'm so glad I happened to try it on her to discover that. I've noticed that some vintage clothes seem to fit Reborns a little bit better. They're sized a little smaller so they fit a little bit better. At least I've discovered that and I don't know if you discovered that. Let me know if you have. You know, older clothing lines seem to fit our Reborns a little bit better. I think no of course that they're size smaller so maybe that's it but it's ever so cute on penny i hope that you enjoy seeing her i thought i would share a little treat with you this week of lee lani and lee in together and they're both wearing a janie and jack dress the same pattern dress the same <laughs> and I, they're doing some twinsing. I just thought it'd be sweet to share them. And you'll notice the dresses have some other colors going on, but they also have a little bit of lemon yellow going on as well. I thought it'd be so sweet to share them together so you could see. Aw. Oh, Leilani wanted to <laughs> let me know. I still have her passy. It's over here. Here you go. Oh, my goodness. Here you go. There you go, Leilani. Aw, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I forgot to give it to you. Oh, she's sad though. <laughs> she's comforted by having Leanne right there with her. Come along with me and I would love to share what the alternative theme is this week. Come along with me and you get to see. Here we go. Here's my guy Sam and he's going to help out with the alternative theme announcement. It's a theme we haven't done in a while and it's so due. It's time for some sports, 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 sports. <laughs> That'd be fun to do this week to go along with yellow. And if you don't have anything sports related, but you have a favorite team, you can dress your reward in your favorite team colors if you like as well for a, kind of a, another additional alternative theme to go along with sports. So go look in your dolly wardrobe and get ready to share your Reborn for this week's theme Thursday. Come along with me and I have some Sandy twins to share with you. Well, you know, they're always here. <laughs> and I so love to share with you what I found for them to wear. So here we go. Here are my Sandy twins, Huey and Morgan. I did have a baseball outfit for Huey to wear, but I so wanted to dress them both in some yellow to share for this week's theme Thursday. Look at Huey in this outfit. Remember when I got it at the consignment sale that I took you along to see? And look at him with the hat. <laughs> it's just hysterical. I think it's just so adorable on him. The outfit has a little scene of little Noah's Ark going on on the front there. And there is Morgan in some vintage. I couldn't resist. I just couldn't resist getting out some vintage yellow that I have in my dolly wardrobe and share. Sweet Morgan in this outfit. Aw. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about Huey, though, because 
uh, those little footsies on the bottom are a little bit slippery, so I better be close by. <laughs> I do hope that you have fun with this week's Teen Thursday of either yellow or sports or sports colors of your favorite team. Do have fun and do take good care of yourselves. I'm sorry that was a little bit heavy in the beginning of my intro, but I so wanted to share some uh, thoughts that I had and some advice and things I've gone through and perhaps they'll help you along the way. Oh, and I have one more to share with you so you can stick around and see what Tess was wearing last week. So I didn't get a chance to share her in it. So I'm Yvonne. Thanks so much for watching. Having you on Theme Thursday. Bring the community together one theme day at a time. <laughs> Here's Tess. Well, she was awake. Well, you know what happened. <laughs> I'll share her coming up. Here we go. Here's my reborn toddler, Tess. I didn't get a chance to share her last week, and last week's theme was some ruffles and frills. But the reason I want to share her right now is because she's wearing something very unusual, and I didn't want to take her out of it until I shared her with you. It's sort of a, a bib that goes over clothing. It has buttons on both shoulders. It fits all the way around. I had never come across anything like this before. I found it at an antique shop. I don't know if it was part of an outfit, and that's just what it had. I don't know, but I had some feeling that it might be some sort of bib that she put over an outfit. It has some horses on it, and that's kind of a sport, so it kind of works for this week's Theme Thursday, but I just wanted to share her. Since I hadn't shared her in a while, I thought you would enjoy seeing Tess. Do take care of yourselves. It's truly important that you do. And thanks so much for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. The Reborn Feel Good channel so you don't miss out. See you next week.